Let's begin with Doodly 101, your Doodly beginner walkthrough. This video tutorial was created with version 2.5.6, but the walkthrough will help you learn any Doodly version. This free video tutorial took billions of light years to create. YouTube judges a channel by subscribers, likes, shares, and video hours watched. We only ask for all our hard work. Please use those buttons and let this video run until the end. Hi, I'm Wayne, the creator of this free video content. Nice to meet you. In just a bit, I'm going to show you content that's designed to show you 1 minute and 30 seconds of different video design techniques, try to make you laugh, all the while telling you how you can support this channel free of charge. If you're someone that feels the thousands of hours I've spent creating free content for you is not worth the 1 minute and 30 seconds of your time, simply use the chapters feature I've taken the time to create in this video and skip over it. Just move your mouse over the video timeline and click on the next chapter. For those of you that do appreciate the time I've taken, here it is, and thanks for watching. Easily support this channel free of charge. Here are some methods. Click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. This video is monetized. Let the video run all the way to the end. The ad revenue, as little as it is, helps support this channel. Join our Facebook group. You'll find a link in the description. You'll receive group status with me and other experienced doodlers and video designers ready to help. Share these videos with other people you know and even people you don't, whether it's in the official Doodly Facebook group or somewhere else. The more people that watch and comment, the more videos I'll create. Join Production Crate through the link in our description. They have a free account and some of the best video designing effects I've found on the internet, along with tutorials, so you know how to use them and can create effects like what you'll see throughout this video series. YouTubers! Reference back to our video in your video or video description. We would be appreciative of a link back to our channel or a plug in your video showing us our hard work paid off. Let us know about it so we can return the kindness. Contact us if you want to get a little more creative and learn how to pass traffic amongst channels. Creating a video. When using Doodly, there will be a lot of items that seem to be in the wrong place, especially if you're coming from a video editing background. Create a video is one of those potential misplacements. Under the recent videos, we find the create a video button. Let's click on that and bring up the create a video new window. Inside the create a video window that appears, we see a number of canvas styles from which to choose. Whiteboard is the most common style. This is an all around great choice for almost any doodle and special effects. The whiteboard works best with the rainbow add-on or imported color images. Chalkboard comes in green and black and is excellent for providing that classroom feel. Chalkboards are an excellent tool for making educational doodles, but imported images will appear grainy and there are some issues with black images on a chalkboard. Chalkboard is an excellent choice to make doodles without the rainbow. Glassboard provides a really awesome looking effect by allowing the drawing hand to appear behind the screen. Please watch our Glassboard use chapter in our Common Beginner Mistakes video tutorial before deciding to use the Glassboard. The board tends to be very distracting away from your message instead of helping to enhance it. Custom has a few perks to it such as being able to choose from a marker or chalk, choose a custom color, or an imported image as a background and is an excellent way to get a green screen effect in Doodly. When importing an image as the background, this will set the image on every scene by importing it into the video settings as opposed to the scene settings. However, before you set an image as your background, ensure you've chosen your resolution first. The logical order in which to make the choices in this window would be to go top to bottom, left to right, but Doodly doesn't play by logical rules. 
if you don't set your resolution before you choose your image, the image will disappear when you change the resolution afterwards. We can change the color of a custom background. This is useful for creating a pseudo color effect in assets if you don't own the rainbow add-on. The color chooser is really user friendly with a slide bar. Type a name in here for your title. Don't worry, you can change or update the title later if you don't like the name you've chosen. This is the constraint aspect ratio checkbox I mentioned earlier. Unchecking it will allow for custom resolutions like 1920 by 1920. That brings us to our next point, resolution. This allows you to tell Doodly what size video you want to create. I'll go into a bit of tech and ease when explaining this, but I'll try to keep the geek speak down to a minimum. First, you'll see the P next at 360, 480, 720, and 1080. The P stands for progressive and goes into how the video frames are created. I have not tested the output videos for frame creation to ensure they are progressive videos, but I'm not convinced that the developers for Doodly understand enough about video frame creation to know whether the P is the proper setting for the video output because exports of some of these doodles are quite shaky, making it appear to me that they may be interlaced video being output from Doodly instead of progressive. So we're going to focus on the size of the video here instead of the technicality. As I've mentioned, there are four standard sizes for Doodly. Additionally, there's a Facebook and Instagram, which are a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. For Facebook, the only area that I could find where a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels is helpful was when I wanted to leave a video attached to a comment. Everywhere else that I could find on Facebook, 1920 by 1080 works just fine. There may be areas of Facebook that require a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, and if so, feel free to correct me in the comments below. Custom resolution can be used to increase the size to support mobile phones only, or even to set the video to a 4K or 3840 pixel by 2160 pixel video. But keep in mind that Doodly only supports importing an image size at a maximum of 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. So any images that you want to fill this canvas must be in an SVG format. Watch our working with images video tutorial to learn more about allowed image types and limitations in Doodly. For this demonstration, we will create a whiteboard video at 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Hey, that's it for this video, but not for the rest of the information on this channel. Here are some more videos to help you keep learning. Click that subscribe button and tap that notification bell for more doodly tips and tricks. Let's make a deal. You keep watching the videos and I'll keep creating the content.